Hey everybody, Maction here from TabletRoms.com, and we're here because Jorge is going to show us, Jorge from Willocity is going to show us um, the future of wireless communications, starting with, um, starting with their tri-band chips. We are very interested in these types of chips because um, the amount of information that you can be pushing to your various wireless devices with a, um, with a maximum of uh, what's the maximum supposed to be on these uh, on these new chips? So right now the current chipset gets to up to five gigabits per second. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about sixty gigahertz wireless communication mm -hmm. can connect a host to a host or a host to devices directly. Mm -hmm. And the current uh, generation of chipset is already in the market. We have here uh, the first laptop that will ship soon, and there are others to come. And right now. The, all our solutions include also an 11N or 11AC uh, chipset. That way we can do a tri-band solution. So if 60 gigahertz is available, it will work at 60 gigahertz at multi-gigabits per second. And if not, it will use 2.4 or 5 in the regular Wi-Fi network. Exactly. The idea is that the user will be always connected and will always select the best connection available. So, of course, if 60 gigahertz is available, it will use 60 gigahertz because it's faster, right? But if it's not, it still will be able to be connected using regular Wi-Fi. That way, on the same module, even computers, phones, tablets, etc., space is critical. Mm -hmm. So that's why we already integrated everything into one single module. So there's no problem for the manufacturer. Just need to add that module, and it has everything. All the legacy plus the advanced 60 gigahertz wireless communication. All these chips are conform to an IEEE spec that is called 802.11 AD, mm -hmm. same as regular Wi-Fi is 802.11 N or AC, so this is AD. The spec has been ratified already, so this is a closed spec. We are the first to have chipsets available in the market, but all the communications companies are working mm -hmm. on these chipsets and developing these chipsets. And we are talking about the spec gets up to almost 7 gigabits per second. And range, usually range, we are talking about tens of meters. Mm -hmm. So there is no problem. We, we have been running over 30 meters, 2 mm -hmm. gigabits per second, and we didn't see any, any problem. Basically, this type of usage is more suitable for an indoor mm -hmm. solution and usually you will get cover all the room. Okay. Now, as far as the, what, what are some of the challenges that you guys have worked to overcome with the uh, limitations of the 60 gigahertz, uh, 60 gigahertz range? So these tiny modules have a lot of intelligence, and they use a technique called beamforming that basically allows you to have a very narrow beam and just change the direction of the beam. That way, one of the challenges of 60 gigahertz is obstacles, mm -hmm. that it sometimes doesn't go through the obstacle. So we use this technique to go around and use reflections from the ceiling, from the wall, from the floor, or any other object, and go around the obstruction to get everywhere in the room and cover all the room. The drawback of these uh, obstacles and having this beamforming is also an advantage because the transmission is actually very, very narrow. Mm -hmm. That means that the influence of a transmission into the neighbor system mm -hmm. is very, very low. Differently to the lower uh, frequencies that the transmission is omnidirectional. Mm -hmm. So that means that although I'm talking to the person there, I'm transmitting in all the directions. So then I'm adding noise in all the directions. So then if I have several systems, mm -hmm. all the system basically will share the same speed because the air is a shared medium. Mm -hmm. Now, with using beamforming, we can have different systems running in parallel and they don't need to share it because the transmission is very narrow. So then the overall capacity in the room, when we aggregate each one of the links, we get that the, the capacity actually grows and doubles or triples or quadruples. Really, that's terrific. So I won't be experiencing, through this new technology, I won't be experiencing slowdown from the other devices pulling because we've got uh, individualized beaming to each one of them. Well, that sounds terrific. 
Um, anything else that you'd like to uh, let us know about the technology or the roadmap or anything like that? I think that you will see the first products coming out to the market next month and there are other announcements to come, so just go and buy the new stuff. Excellent. Thank you so much. Sure appreciate it, Jorge. Thank you.